You sell me out, Sam. Come on. No, look, it's not well, like tell that. Tell me you sold me You lied, like Sam. Tell me. He got millions. Stay out of that money. Stay out of that money. Look, 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 Feather and his boys like to play Indian war games on Saturday mornings. I guess it beats watching cartoons. Occasionally, against my better judgment, I join them. Last man standing gets the first arrow. But I've never been a real big hunter. It's unfortunate that you missed your deer. I didn't miss. Good luck, Beats. We all in need that. Presented Grey Feather and the boys on an illegal occupation beef after they took over a government building. It turned ugly. Grey Feather was taking a bad rap. I had to take the case to appeal. The tribe didn't have a dime. So I had to cover all the costs. Cash flow can be a real bitch. Fortunately, I have friends. Take 
takes you where you want to go. Or do you want to go the distance? John, you, you know I'm very fond of you, and I don't like to come here and bother you about money. But the fact of the matter is that I am a loan shark, and you owe me money. So I would just appreciate it if you would make a payment, okay? Just a payment. Buddy, you you're okay? Because you're bad for my rep. You okay, buddy? Something bothering you, Johnny? Oh, God, that's got to hurt. That's got to hurt. Yes. Johnny, I haven't seen you throw this much heat, buddy, since Big Head Henry slashed your tires when it was, was 66, buddy. Yes! Guys who play dirty end up getting hurt. Hey, John. John, come here. I gotta talk to you, buddy. John. John, listen. I, John, you gotta make a payment. You're making me look bad. Hey, John. John, this is gonna be bad for both of us. <clears throat> One of the doors close. He must have nothing to leave me. Nowhere to run. I want him disbarred. Oh, come on, Lewis. I can't get him disbarred. What I ask is for you to take care of business. I provide the gun. And if you hit the target, you get the price. Well, if I give you Ryan, what are you going to do with him? Let you see I have plans. Johnny boy. <laughs> By the way, Sam, I know you won't let me down. <sighs> yeah, John's into me for a bit of money. How much? $78,000, why? I'll take it. Listen. <laughs> I don't think you and your friends understand, okay? I got a personal relationship with John, and this is like a debt that I just can't sell, okay? I have a relationship with John, too. And I think you better sell it to me for one dollar. <sighs> Listen. <laughs> Listen, I, 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 I can't do that. <laughs> You want to sell it to me? Ask you. Huh? You want to sell it to me? Fuck yeah! I told you, you'll, you'll get it when I get it. I just... I just don't have it right now. I know. I know. John, I am very sorry about your current financial situation. And you don't know the half of it. Somebody's bought your debt off. Somebody bought my debt? My debt's between you and me, Larry. I'm sorry. Somebody is very interested in you. Let's take a drive.
When I was a kid, I had a friend by the name of Louis Calderon. We were inseparable. Hold it right there! We got into some serious trouble. The cops were really after us. away for a long time. What do you think pleasure is, John? The absence of pain or the presence of something else? You know what the answer is? It's the absence of pain. How long, John? 22, 23 years. Long time. I knew this day would come, Lois. Remember when we robbed the store? I got sentenced to two years. Those two years turned into 16 years. Long time. A lot of pain. The past is gone, Lewis. You can't recapture it. You learn a lot about pain when you do time, John. Couple of guys teach me real good. They learn too. I kill one and castrate the other one. What's this all about, Lewis? What's the deal here? The deal is, you got your shit together good. Marine Corps, law school, real golden boy. What do you want? Fair market value for 16 years. For getting my throat caught instead of being a golden boy. Is that what all this is about, Lewis? Huh? After all these years, payback? Your pound of flesh. You owe me. What do you want me to do? Remember that game we used to play when we were kids? Capture the flag. I changed the rules. It's not a game anymore. You fight for the flag, the winner gets big money. What you say, John? Tough guy, good fighter. Couple of rounds, no time we even. I'm not a kid anymore, Lewis. You got a few days before you have to pay. Think about it. He ain't gonna show. Calderon probably whacked him. Grime, you know, if you could just let me do the thinking, all right? Okay? You want him dead, he'd be dead. <sighs> Good morning, John. Good morning, Larry. That is a lovely suit. Did you just come from the office? Larry, I got serious trouble. <laughs> <clears throat> Listen, John. What? Are you absolutely sure you need this money? Yeah, I need this money. Yeah. You're not gonna lend it to me? I gotta be honest with you, my friend. I, I don't know. What are you saying? I'm I certainly would... don't want to make the loan, Slick. Oh, and who are you? Larry's new partner, Grime? I'm his uh, senior VP of business affairs. My affair is to burn off the deadwood. Well, I suggest you go jump in a fire. <laughs> my piece is a little dirty. How about you suck it clean? Why don't you kiss my ass? Okay, 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 hey, 
Hey, come here. Listen, listen. It's me. It's I me. know who it is. I should whack you in the side of the head, too. Listen, I am sorry about this whole loan thing, but we gotta see some action on it, all right? Come on. You know that I'm very fond of you. Yeah, I can see that. I'm in a little bit of a bind here, Larry. You know? I need the money. I know. John, I know you do. Listen, here's 25,000. All right, thanks. You know I'm good for, right? Oh, I do. I'm gonna get it back to you. I know, that's good. All right? That's good. You'll get it back. This have to be important. Yeah, you know, I raised him. him. They tried to lay Robin a store on him just because he was I'm in it. And the same color as I'm the man who did security. it. Security. Go ahead. Call security. Claudia, I'll it's all right. I'll take care I of this. Do you want to just give me a second? Janice, open up a file for a Mr. Jefferson. Mick Jefferson. A Mick Jefferson. Thank you. I said, if you take care of red people, then you'll right, probably Mrs. take Jefferson, care of you black. you have my attention. All right? Just give me a minute with your son, would you? Mick, why don't you have a seat? All right, don't sit down. What's Mick short for? Michelangelo. Is that right, huh? Don't touch the papers, please. Did you do it, Michelangelo? Yeah. Yeah, I did it. Okay, that's good. We're off to a good start. Why did you do it? For the money. Excuse me, are you into uh, Eskimo soapstone? For the money? Yeah, how much you make? $94.17. Split how many ways? Two. You know, what'd you do with your rent? Paid off a dealer. Yeah. How long you been using? Huh? Here's the deal, Mick. Your mother seems like a good person who believes in her son. For whatever reason, I don't know. You want to break her heart? You taking my case or what? How old are you? 18. How long do you think you're going to live? Huh? How many friends you had have been shot? Uh, How many? Nine. How many stabbed? Shit, I don't know. How many dead? Six. When are you going to go? Oh, I ain't going nowhere. Yeah, you got that much right. Man, take the bullshit and walk, man. Here. A lot of friends in the street, Mick. I'm putting the word out on you. You mess up, and your ass is mine. You got it? What you know about the street, huh? What do you know about the street, Mick? Man, you don't know what I have to do to get by out there. You know nothing, Mick. You troll punch like you take it up the ass. I want you to really smack me this time, Mick. Come on, go for it. <laughs> You had enough? Huh? Have you had enough? Are you hurting? Come on, smack me, Mick. Come on, Mick, smack me. You're an asshole and your mother doesn't know it. You're doing life on the installment plan, Mick. And maybe, just maybe, if you clean yourself up, I'll take your case. Break this up, but I'm doing court. Thank you, Mr. Jefferson. Janice? No way in hell is Michelangelo a pro bono deal, pal. Here's the Carruthers file. Look, you can't afford to take on any more charity cases. You gotta be into that Hiawatha thing for over 150 grand. Hey, thanks, Janice. They were Mick Max. Terrific. You got a bleeding heart. You just don't want it bleeding all over me. You know, John, contrary to your opinion, money is not an evil thing. Oh, yeah. What's this? Money, cash, $100 bills. Clients paying in cash? Mm, something like that. Good luck this morning in court. John, do you have a moment? Uh, sorry, Sam, I got a summation due in five minutes, remember? Right. The Carruthers case, unfortunate bit of business. I would have handled it myself, but scheduling didn't permit it. How's it looking? How's it looking? 
You mean, am I doing a good job? You mean, is Crothers going to get off? Or do you mean, is Crothers guilty of beating the woman? I'm sure you'll take care of it either way. It's not exactly my kind of thing, Sam. I don't like the way it smells. Don't stick me with this crap again. What's the matter, John? Don't you like the smell of money? Carruthers is an important client. Very important and rich. Good words to remember. Important and rich. Yeah! Yes? Ryan's on his way to court with Carruthers. Did Sylvia get the pictures? Yes, this morning. Good. Now we set the hook. This court finds the defendant not guilty. You did very nice work in court, Ryan. You might let Armstrong know that I'm considering moving a larger portion of my company's business to the firm. Uh, that is, if he makes you a full partner and compensates you accordingly. You should be a little more careful of the company you keep. You were within inches of being convicted of aggravated assault. If I were you, I'd stay away from prostitutes. You think I beat her? Someone sure did. <laughs> Look, I have to get back to the office. Um, why don't you drop by later? I'll buy you a dinner. Say around 9 o'clock, we'll talk some business. Mr. Ryan? Yes? Someone gave me these pictures this morning. Some of them are of me. I think you should see them. Where'd you get these? A friend of mine, a working girl. She stole them from Carruthers. Why don't you hand them in as evidence of court? A person like me is not going to find justice in court, Mr. Ryan. Well, you're hearing, but you're not listening to me. I said you step in and give them 10 cents on the dollar. Well, they're, 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 they're next to bankruptcy. I mean, they're desperate. They don't have a choice. 10 cents on the dollar. All right? Good. Yeah, good. It's good for both of us. I'll talk to you later. John. John. Hey. See you up for a drink before dinner or what? Uh, hey, I know this great club, the owner's a pal of mine. We go in there, get our dicks sucked for free, don't have to wear a fucking rubber either. I hate that shit. Yeah, me too. I mean, rubbers are for tires, not dicks, right? <laughs> Hey, is that where you met Sylvie? Nah, she's a street whore. So tell me, you beat her? What? You beat her. John, it's over. We won. Relax. But you know, you, uh, you get off on beating chicks, don't you? Huh? Come on, you old smoothie, eh? <laughs> no, I thought you were playing the righteous prick role. John, check this out. Hey, I'm a lawyer, but I love the party, you know what I mean? You know, some of these broads, they love to get smacked around. Huh? Check that Sometimes out. they deserve it, right? Yeah. Oh, these are wild. If you'd have told me you were into kink, I wouldn't have had to bullshit you. Yeah, we could have been out uh, partying together. <laughs> yeah. Got a little present for you. Guaranteed to tease him, please. <laughs> you are a wild devil, huh? These are the Cadillac of Cuffs, my buddy boy. Yeah, huh? How's that? Is that good? You and me out on the town? What do you say, <laughs> huh? <laughs> Dueling dicks at that. How's that fit? Yeah, not bad. Yeah, I could see this on a lot of people. Like Sylvie, maybe? Or someone like her? John, what the hell is all this about? Contrary to popular belief, money can't buy complete immunity, Phil. You know Sylvie, right, Phil? You can't do this.
this to me, you son of a bitch. Sylvie, I'll give you anything you want. Anything you want. Don't hit me. Don't hit me. Don't hit me. Justice. That's what the legal system's supposed to be about. But it's not. It's about money. About corruption. I thought I'd left this kind of thing in my past with Lewis Calderon. But I haven't. Calderon's closing in on me like a freight train. Sign this fucking state, you're gonna sign it right now, we're gonna kick your ass. Sign it! You think I'm playing with you? Sign it. Good. Now you're a fucking school pigeon, school pigeon, school pigeon. This guy been behaving himself? You're screwed, Ryan. You know that? You step right over the line this time. Of course, I knew you would, and I knew I'd be there when you did. You're screwed. Okay, I'm screwed. You're repeating yourself. You know that girl? Yeah, you too? Maybe we got something in common. Let me use the phone book. Hey! Sylvie Dagno made a statement saying you put her up to beating Carruthers. He's in the hospital demanding your head on a platter. You're up on conspiracy to commit murder. You want freedom? Talk to a judge. You want rights? Duff us here, I'll read them to you. <laughs> this is bullshit. You guys both know it. Crothers is a scumbag. You want his payroll? Just kissing his ass. Hey! Son of a... Let's get three things straight, Brian. One, I don't like you. You're a lawyer. Two, I don't kiss nobody's ass. And three, I would never, ever take a grease. Not from Carruthers, not from him or any other scumbag. You got that? Yeah, I got it. Good. Freedom is right. Hey, son. Turn to your left. You got any money? Doing here? I'm sitting on this bench. I ain't paying squat. You taking that shit from him? He's dissing me, man, making you look like a chump. Man, whack this asshole out. Shut up, pie boy. Pay my rent, man. Hey, screw you, Gorilla Breath. The suit takes you down, that's your problem. But no one tells me to shut up. You're a big pussy, Mark. Now pay me, asshole! Let him go. Back. 
fuck off, cause you next. Let him go. Coming to the defense, Mr. Fucking Lawyer. You think your body can back up your big fucking mouth? I think I'm gonna have you suck my cock. You're gonna look real good hanging off my crank. Why don't you quit while you're ahead? You had enough? Okay. Oh! Sure. Look, I don't know who did what. All I know is the charges have been dropped. Armstrong got the charges dropped. Armstrong. Yeah, the senior partner in your firm. You remember him, don't you? The guy with all the connections. Seems he made a few phone calls and presto, the whole thing disappears. Must be nice to have friends in high places. I'd have thought Armstrong would have your ass for getting that guy roughed up. Something stinks around here, Ryan. I'll be watching you. Mr. Ryan? Mr. John Ryan? Are you Mr. Ryan? Are you Mr. Ryan? Who's he asking? I don't think that is a yes. What's this? An eviction notice. You are forbidden from entering these premises Who for... Who issued the notice? You are forbidden from entering these premises for any Who reason... Who issued whatsoever. the notice? The owner, Mr. Armstrong. Armstrong? Armstrong did this? You are this? forbidden from entering these premises for any reason whatsoever. If you enter the premises, you will be charged with trespass from the officers behind me. Do you understand, sir? You know this is totally illegal, You're right? You're going to have to leave now, sir. You're gonna have to take that up with the courts. Oh, I will. Don't worry. You're I'll take this up with the now, courts. Sir. If you don't leave now, we're gonna have to charge you with trespass. Do you understand? I understand. I've got to grab some clothes. No, I'm sorry, sir. All of your personal belongings sir, must I have some important within the artifacts apartment in there, sir. until there's been a settlement with Mr. Armstrong. Sir, I have you some are, valuable artifacts you have been in there. You are now evicted. You must leave now, sir. I have to get these artifacts. All of your sir. personal belongings must you remain can't do within this. the apartment this is totally until a settlement illegal, has been reached with Mr. Armstrong. Do you understand? You have to leave now, sir. You have to leave. I'll you see you in court. Have a nice day, sir. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Let's try this one. Oh. I'm sorry, sir. It looks like this one has been declined, too. There must be some mistake. These cards were good yesterday. I'll have to ask you to leave, sir. Excuse me. Does it look like I'm finished? You accept cash, right? Yes, we do. But it doesn't look like you have enough, sir. Thanks for your help. You're welcome. Fred. John Ryan. Listen, you still got that old place? Remember that hotel? The one my buddy Jimmy Tuglay stayed at. Yeah, well, I need a room. I'll explain everything to you when I see you. Mr. Armstrong cannot see you right now, Mr. Ryan. You have the charges dropped against me, then evict me from my apartment. What the hell's going on here, Sam? Well, I leased you a corporate apartment at a favorable rate. You're substantially behind in your payments. Those payments were going to be brought up to date on the Crothers fees. <laughs> yes, well, Crothers won't be paying. You've seen to that, haven't you? Oh, come on, Sam. You knew Crothers beat the girl. <laughs> I don't have to answer your accusations. I'm aware of what's been going on, John. Improper billing procedures, taking on risk work, covering it through your own means. I don't know where you've been getting your money, but I have no doubt it's through illegal channels. Now, the law is as sacred as... You don't give a shit about the law, Sam. This place is a goddamn money factory. It don't work here anymore, John. Are you firing me, Sam? Mr. Carruthers is suing you for several million dollars. We'll be representing Mr. Carruthers. You're a history here, John. Your company credit cards have been canceled. The court has frozen your assets. Your history. This is far from over, Sam. Far from over. You're wrong, Ryan. This is completely over. 
just a sec. That's no way to open a door for a lady. Passing yourself off as a lady these days, Kelly? You passing yourself off as an honest cop, Detective Baker? I hear your boyfriend may be picking up a couple new business projects. Boyfriend? Call her own a trick, then, Kelly? You know, maybe if you had balls instead of just a badge, you'd be man enough to go talk to Calderon yourself. You know, I am so close to Calderon, I can almost hear his kidneys working. You ever get close enough to a man to hear his kidneys working, Kelly? They make a very interesting sound. You tell Calderon I'm this far from hanging those kidneys on the precinct wall. Always real nice to see you, Kelly. You following me, Mick? Huh? No, man. Why are you following me? I think we for that jail thing, man. Yeah, you got that straight. Uh, what is it this time, huh? Theft or a drug bust? No rule violation, man. How'd you make bail? Release on my own recognizance. Don't shit me, man. No, man, I Don't ain't. Don't fucking ain't shit fucking me. I ain't you, man. I'm serious, man. I talk good. You know that, man. Yeah, I know you fucking talk good. All right, listen, 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 all right? I heard something, man. I heard someone's looking for you, man. Someone's big got some interest in you, man. Who's got interest in me? I hear you. Who? I, Who, Mick? I, Who's got I don't fucking interest? Who's got interest in me? I don't me, know. Man? I hear, man. I hear. I let you know, all right? I hear and let you know. All right? You make sure of that. I will, man. I will. Sure of that. All right? I heard you were living that dump over there, man. Gotta chill. You heard that, huh? Yeah. You hear a lot of things, huh, Mick? Yeah, I hear a lot of things, man. You're a smart guy, huh? You damn straight. Why, if you're so fucking smart, why are you doing the life installment plan, Mick? Nah, man. See, it ain't, ain't gonna work that way. You see, I. I'm gonna, I'm gonna change things, right? I'm gonna get my shit together, right? See, I gotta take it slow, you know what I'm saying? When? When? Tomorrow? Tomorrow? I don't Next week? Next year? I don't know! When? I'm gonna. Yeah, I'm gonna. That's the fucking junkie's lament, Mick. I'm gonna. Brian! Brian! You taking my case, man, or what? I'll think about it. <laughs> <laughs> Check him out. Looking good, huh? All right. Looking good, Johnny. I'm impressed. What do you think, Kelly? He's gonna get you hot? You want to do him? Hmm? Why, Luis? You're getting too old? <laughs> hey, Johnny, I'm impressed. Feel good enough to settle up with me, Johnny? Hey, let's see what you got. Show me your stuff. Show me your stuff. Let's see what you got. Come on, Johnny. I'm talking to you, chicken. I'm talking to you. Let me see what you got. Come on. Uh, come on, give it to me. Come on, come on. Show me your stuff. Come on, Johnny. I'm talking to you, chicken. Show me your stuff. Come on. Let me see what you got. Wake up. Come on. Give it to me. Come on, Johnny. Come on. Come on. Come on, Johnny. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Let's have a talk. Get dressed. I couldn't find the ladies' room. There isn't one. 
Sorry. You work for Calderon? Yeah. What do you do? I fuck him. Really? That's probably a lot of work. Believe me, it is. But with Lewis, it's either screw or get screwed. I prefer to be on top. Lewis, explain your song. Why don't you tell him I'll be right down? Why don't you remember what I told you? About being on top? About Lewis. Screw him before he screws you. Let's go the bullshit. I got you by the balls. So let me get this straight. You want me to play this game, this steal the flag. And if I do it a couple of times, my debt's clean. And you have your retribution. Right. And if you win, you get the bonus. says you've made its merchandise status. Really? Is that good or bad? It means you get a continued chance to be exploited by him. He wants you to come by later and pick up your money. Oh. I hate it when he trashes good merchandise. <laughs> oh, I heard that's good for your sperm count. Am I interrupting some? Hey, Johnny. I'm glad you're here. You want a drink? No, I'm fine. I say, you want a drink? Yeah, I'll have a beer. Kelly. Ten grand, Johnny. I'm a man of my word. Feels good, huh? Money's good for the soul. Enough of it. You can buy anything. You can buy the best. You want to share Pandora's box with me, Johnny? Huh? Lewis wasn't loved enough as a child. What do you say, Johnny? I work with only the best. You want to share it with me? Here's just fine. What is it, Johnny? You really think you're better than me? Not better than you, Lewis. Just cleaner. I don't like to deal in drug money. You ever read any Shakespeare, Johnny? I have a lot of time to read in solitary. There is no beast so fierce 
that knows no mercy. But I'm no beast. I'm therefore no, no mercy. Is that so? I am your judge. I'm your jury. Come on. We have someone to talk to. How you doing, Sam? What are you doing here? You two knew each other, huh? Yeah, I know, Mr. Armstrong. Here's your money, counselor. What's the money for, Sam? <laughs> Look. Come on, Sam. Well, he's Does a client. Work? He's Tell a client. him the truth. We do business. You sell me out, Sam. Come on. No, look, it's not well, like tell that. Tell me you sold me out. You're lying, Sam. Tell me. He got millions. Stay out of here. Huh? Stay out of that place. 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 Stay out of that Shoot the bastard! My life. Come on! Take the gun! Shoot the bastard! Give me that gun! Come on! I'll blow your brains out! Ruin my Shoot life, I'll ruin yours! Shut up, boy! Shut up! Shut up! Come on! Get down on your knees and beg! Get down on your knees and beg! I'll blow your head off! Get down on your knees and beg! Get down on your knees and beg! Get down on your knees and beg! Get down on your life! Get out of here, you son of a bitch! Get out of here! Get out of here! Shoot him! You should have shoot him at least a couple of times, John. Shut up, Lewis. Corollis is talking to Armstrong too much. I don't like this. Get rid of the guy tonight. Oh. Oh, someone had a little too much, huh? Whoa. Mm. <laughs> what the? Oh, no, 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 no. Him out of a river earlier this evening. Someone strangled him with a piano wire. Oh, it's a real loss for humanity. Yeah, well, as I see it, Crothers wasn't suing anyone else for a million dollars. No Crothers, no lawsuit. Nice, huh? You're wasting your time. I didn't whack Crothers. You got an alibi? Yeah, I was with friends. Oh, Louis Calderon. A great alibi. I didn't kill Crothers. Now, why don't you get the hell out of here? You know, I don't think he did it either. It's not his stuff. Probably called her on order to hit. That's it. Probably to give him a favor. Lewis doesn't pay back on favors, all right? Brian. He's going to end up owning you. You hear anything on this Crothers thing, you call us before we start calling on you. Yeah, I'll call you for brunch on Sunday. One more thing. You know a broad named Kelly? Yeah, what about her? Well, we figure that uh, she did the hit for Calder. You got the wrong bride. I don't think so, Johnny boy. I don't think so. Dangerous lady. You should keep your pants on. She might just squeeze her legs together, pop your dick right off. Why don't you get out of here, huh? Get out. Good night.
What the? What'd you get in here? Mm, box of Verona's people. I picked it. What time is it? About 7.30. You want to get in bed? I would love to. But I won't. Don't tell me you're worried about safe sex. <laughs> sex is never safe. How about breakfast? for that, isn't it? You know, you invited me for breakfast. You're supposed to pay. I never pay. You know, Calderon's not going to be satisfied until he destroys you. Why don't you just split? It's a principal thing. <laughs> principal. I'd say it's a dick thing. You know, like whose balls are bigger, yours or his. Really? You ever hear of a guy named Armstrong? Maybe, maybe not. You know, I was getting the impression that maybe you were in my corner. Only to the degree that it's worth my while. I got nothing that's worth your while, Kelly. I'll be a judge of that. But thanks for breakfast. I gotta go. Hey, Kelly. I hope Calderon's taking real good care of you. see him after the fight. Be good to him. Do you know what I mean? Yeah, I know what you mean, Lewis. Remember, no round limitations tonight. Let's see how long this fight will go. How many rounds will these men survive each other? Round two.
Johnny, I see that old mean street spirit coming back to you, huh? Wanna get us a drink, baby? Thank you. It's very insightful, Louis. Here's another 10 Gs. The crowd really liked the rule change. We gotta do this kind of shit more often, eh? Yeah, it's great. They're taking pictures of you, John. They love seeing a lot of your heat. You're famous. Famous. ¿Qué pasa, Gerardo? ¿Tienes mi dinero o no? Me estás molestando. Me robaron, Luis. No tengo tu dinero. You better tell me the fucking truth, man. I told you it wouldn't go down right, Mr. Calderon. You told me nothing. Mentiroso! No me pegas otra vez. No me asustas. Más te vale que me pagues mi dinero. Andy Beggar. Nice to meet you. Sit down. We saw you play tonight. Pretty impressive for a suit. Before John became a lawyer, he had another life. Yeah, you were a good lawyer, John. Smart. Just because they take away your little piece of paper, though, don't mean you got to stop using your naga. What do you got in mind? See, from time to time, we could use a little advice. Help keep our noses clean, if you know what I mean. You want some in-house counsel. It's more like uh, in-house advice. Our business is narcotics, Mr. Ryan. Now, you handled a lot of drug cases in your time. You're terrific, because you know both sides of the law. You'd be our point man. We run down the operations to you. You tell us where we're vulnerable. You will never even see this stuff. Now, Lewis is in the deal, and your account will be 100000 a month, cash up front, paid into an offshore account. Now, what do you say? Maybe Mr. Ryan has principles. This type of operation would compromise. This would make me part of an ongoing criminal conspiracy and an accessory to trafficking. Are you guys out of your mind? Hey, John, what the fuck is this? We're talking a hundred grand a month. Your associates are drug dealers, Lewis. Since when do you give a shit? I defend clients, not advise drug dealers. I won't step over the line. What the fuck is this? I offer you a future, my friendship. Think about it, John. Real fucking hard. <laughs> hey, John. Come here. You leaving without me? Well, that depends. On what? Do you know a guy by the name of Crothers? No. He's dead. You know any dead guys? Well, someone told me you killed him. Did you kill him? I don't kill people. I may on occasion do them, but I don't kill them. Then again... One of these days, I may just fuck you to death. Who hit Carruthers? Why don't you ask Lewis? He probably knows. See you later.
Hey, Johnny. One fucking bad dude, huh? Look familiar? No, shooty. He says he's an old client of yours. That you fucked him in a bad plea bargain. His name's Blade. Yeah, I'm a murder guy in cold blood. I did seven at Attica. Should have done a hell of a lot more. Not the way he sees it. He says he's gonna tear your head off. And shit down your neck. If you win tonight, he's your next fight. Ladies and men, defeat, <laughs> ladies and gentlemen. And there's six four, two hundred and eighty-one pounds. This man has meanness in motion. I got this barn. So I can't take your case to court, Mick. But I spoke to a lawyer friend of mine who thinks that we can... Ryan, you're on. Who am I playing? Who gives a shit? In the black, six feet, 195 pounds, John Ryan. His opponent, six foot three, 262 pounds, Ricky the Mick Kahuna Smith. <laughs> Feels like those two guys beating the hell out of me in there. Ladies and gentlemen, round two. I told you to fuck him. Didn't I? Yes. You do what I tell you. You got me. Look, man, the best thing for you, man, is to tell Cauldron that it's over. All right? Just, just tell him that it's over. I can't do that. Yes, you can. Yeah. Yes, you can. You wanna be like this, man? You're a lawyer. Come on, man, get your shit together. You know it's not right. You know it's not right. I know you know it's not right.
Turned out to be a pretty good kid, Michelangelo. I never thought I'd see the day when you would give me advice. But thanks. Hey. What are these, Al? These are my good luck beats. And now they're yours. I quit. You owe me. You can't quit. I just did. Your Johnny is giving you a hard time about your habit. No, he's not. And I'm clean. Never could tell. Good shit from bad shit myself. Try this. Let me know what you think of the quality. Thanks. Uh, go on. Brian's just not gonna know about it. Give it a taste. Let me know what you think. Well, look at this. My old lady and my best friend. And I thought you didn't want to share with me. <laughs> you son of a fool! Yes. Don't tell us the merchandise. <laughs> Are you okay, John? <laughs> yeah, it's just great. You see how I take care of my people? I know she turned you on, so I give her to you. Oh, you're a sick fuck, Luis. We're all sick, but that's what you're into. Right, Kelly? You son of a bitch! 
That's why you fucked me, because he told you to? I fucked you because I wanted to. He just gave you an excuse. First, I shared with you. Now you share with me. Get dressed. This is what I call poetic justice. Uh, Remember Andy and Tommy Vega? Come on, man. Christ's sake, Lewis, give me a break, will you? Did I talk to you? No! Oh, Jesus Christ, man. Can you believe this, John? I catch this too stealing for me. You've got to know how to deal with this. No, Lewis, come on, man. No. Now you, we share. Come on, shoot him. Shoot him. Shoot him. Come on, Johnny. Come on. If I die, you die. Shoot me. No, Louis, no, please, please. <laughs> That journey. I got your prince. We're in business. You want me to go? <sighs> what are you going to do? I want you to teach him the meaning of pain. I want you to make him beg. Okay? You got it, Mr. Calderon. You got it. Today we're gonna make some changes. Calderon. So what do you think of it, Nick? I don't know. What do you mean you don't know? I didn't taste it. Yeah, why not? Let's just say you're an inspiration to kick bad habits. Imagine that. He's a good kid. <laughs> yeah. You bang it here, man. Oh! You were supposed to taste this. I don't taste no more, man. Taste this. Junkies, get him out of here. Put him with the fish. Don't touch him. He wasn't a junkie. He was a good kid. And I don't want you to dump him like a piece of garbage. Sir, it's okay. It's okay. If he means that much to you, I take care of him. Brooklyn and San Jones, give this to his family. You see, John. I'm a good guy. I find out you killed this kid, I'm gonna tear your heart out. You think I'm gonna piss away our friendship? Over a nigger, John. Oh, oh, son! Not bad, John. No bad. 
a lizard into it. By the way, oh! tonight, I changed the rules. And the only way to stop the pain is to get on your knees and beg. One more thing. Play. Kill the nigger. You did your best. You lose. <laughs> I never lose.
Let's call it a day, Lewis. One of us is gonna die today. I ain't gonna be me. Didn't have to be this way, Lewis. <laughs> you over this. Yeah, but you won't. It was self-defense. Besides, you want to call the room more than I did. You better get out of town, Ryan. Way out of town. I want to change my mind. Are you okay? Better than call the room. You're always better than cold. Hi, this is Kelly. Sorry I'm not here right now, but leave me a message and I'll call you back. Bye. Beneath the surface 